60-month-old girl is dead, and her father sits in the Hamilton County Justice Center in connection with her death. The girl died last night in her mother's Westwood apartment. Nine on your side, reporter Jay Warren is live at the Hamilton County Justice Center with this story. Jay? Well, Clyde, 24-year-old Chevelle Johnson is being held on a $200,000 bond on child endangering charges, though more charges are set to come as the Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office puts its case together. Chevelle Johnson stood before a judge this morning to face the charge of child endangering. Police say he admitted to punching his three-month-old daughter, Asia Kathy, in the face because she wouldn't stop crying. Today, I talked to little Asia's mother, Jade Kathy, about what happened. She said he was supposed to be feeding Asia and getting her ready for bed. I'm running my boy's bath water. That's when Chevelle had came and got me. He said, baby, come in here and quick. And that's when he told me that there's a blood and milk coming out our daughter's nose. Astoundingly, this photo, Jade says, was also taken last night of Johnson with his daughter, Asia. This is what she heard when she went in to check on her baby. So the first thing I hear is she's busy gasping and going, <gasps> like that. She did that two times. I was like, okay, well, she'll be all right. Though. Like, you know, like, I'm rubbing the blood off of her, stuff like that. Like, she coming around and stuff like that. Then she had closed her eyes like she wanted to go to sleep from there. Then that's my no. I go right back in the bathroom, back to rewatch my boys up, and that's when he told me again, I bet you need to come back out here. She's not responding to me. Kathy would later call 911. Life saving efforts last night would ultimately fail. In the meantime, she says that Johnson has shown impatience towards Asia before. In the past, like, he used to be yelling at Asia, like the way how much she'd be crying. And then like, so he, like, he just can't handle it. And this is what she believes should happen to her now ex boyfriend, Chevelle Johnson. I want our daughter. Like, 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 I'm speaking for me and our daughter and the rest of our family. That I just want Chevelle does to serve some time, like for our daughter, and also like get some serious help. The Hamilton County Coroner's Office did perform an autopsy this morning, determined the cause of death to be head trauma. Again, we are waiting on the prosecutor's office for more charges. Jay Warren, not on your side downtown.